to the family and friends. How are we today? I'm fine. I'm blessed. I'm finally in my house now. I'm not situated yet, but I'm here. So, um, I found us a corner where I could do a video for you guys because today is the 4th of July. Okay? Um, I work like 24-7. I don't have no time off. So when I happen to get some time, I push it in there just for you guys because I want to come here and I want to do this video for you and I want you to love it. I want you to fix whatever I fix and enjoy it. So today is the fourth. All right. So I want to give a few shout outs to some of my new subscribers. Um, I have Freeze from Freeze TV. I have G Off Nun. I have Renee Molette. I have Big T Charlie. Hello, you guys. I have the Love 2000. How do we do it? I have Life of Carla. I have Shantana Morris. I have Roshana Ingram. I have Bird Love 80. And I have Carla Rodriguez and so many more. I just want to give a shout out to all my YouTube family and friends. Okay. So today is the 4th of July and I made it here for you guys to get this video on the way. So, you know, so we can get it popping. So, pop, pop, pop. All right. So, today we're gonna be making some devil food eggs. Okay, and they're going to be scrunches. All right, so shall we get started? Okay, so just to give you a heads up, I already boiled my eggs. And to boil eggs, you know, you put them in a pot with the water and you boil them anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. I prefer 20 to 25 minutes with my eggs, okay? So, um, I have my eggs already peeled, and to get it started, I already started on some, but I just want to show you guys what we're going to be doing. So, what we're going to be doing is we have to make some dye. We have to make red and blue. So, so far, I already made one. And we're going to make them again. Okay, just so you can see. Okay, here's my red food coloring. I'm going to put five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then... To get it working, we need some distilled white vinegar. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of that. Okay. All right. And since I'm going to make another one with blue, I'm just going to go on and put this tablespoon of distilled vinegar in it. And then we're going to put our drops in. And we're going to get it going. So, here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now I already prepared the water. You need hot water. So I just put some hot water in here for us. By the way, my cup is this big, and we're just going to pour it in there almost to the top. And when I say almost to the top, it's almost to the top. I think we need just a teeny weeny more. All right, and now we're going to pour it in and make our blue. Just gonna pour it in almost to the top. All right. And then we're gonna set it down. We're gonna take the spoon, tablespoon, and we're gonna stir it real lightly. 
No need to pressure it or push it hard, just lightly stir. Then we're going to stir our red one. Now, when you place your eggs in there, I know they don't just come out automatically all dark at first. So however dark you want to get it, you have to leave it in there for an amount of time. So what I did is I already kind of put the toothpicks in so you could see. Um, actually, you can do three corners and use six, or you can do four corners like this and use eight, okay? Now, I'm gonna get my toothpicks. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So here's my egg. And I'm gonna stick it about right here. And you wanna get them like about evenly all the way around. And on this one, I'm just gonna do three, okay? Okay, so now we're going to get it kind of close in the middle and we're going to do three more. And then we're going to stick it in the die. Now the little end here we want to stick in the red dye and the big booty part we want to stick in the blue dye, okay? So I'm just going to put that in and we'll let that start taking, okay? Now I have this one that I already did with the red and I actually left it like 15 minutes and it looks real pretty to me. It's going to look pretty to you. Okay, so now we're going to put this one in the blue, and we're going to leave those about 10 minutes. Okay, and now I have room, because I have four cups, so we're going to stick another one in the blue, and it's not quite as deep as it should be. So what we're going to do is put it a little closer. Because we want to be able for it to get dyed on the ends. And we're going to leave the middle white. That way we get red, white, and blue. Okay, so I'm going to stick this one in the blue. And then I'm going to get another one and we're going to stick it in the red. Alright. So, now that we got that going... Well, maybe this one could use a little close-up, too. Hmm. So, now we're going to stick that one in the red. All right, now that's much better. Okay, so now we're going to take a baggie. You have a baggie, um, it don't have to be Ziploc. Uh, any sandwich bag will do. And what we want to do is open it like this. And we're going to make our, get our base going for the inside of our eggs. But until we dye them and cut them and dump them, we're not going to be able to finish that. So, we're going to hold off on that for a minute. <clears throat> and I'm just showing you, um, this is one that I already done. We're going to remove the toothpicks. You can use them again if you want. I don't see no reason why not. Matter of fact, I think I will. I'm 
And I'm just going to leave that over there on the wax paper. And I'm going to take this A. Then I have a knife here. And I'm going to cut it in half. Long length way. See, I cut it just like that, the long way. Now this yoke seems to be on the end there. But that's fine, because when we mix it, we're just gonna put it back in, and as you can see, it's not sticking out on the outside. It's just a thin layer of egg, and that's just how it came out. And as you can see, these are red, white, and blue. All right. So I have another one over here. I'm gonna take those two picks out. And I'm gonna cut it in half as well. Remember the long length way. All right. So now we have four. We're gonna have to scoop out the inside. Now, I don't know if I'll be needing this teaspoon, but I got it just in case. So we're going to take our baggie here. Oh, let me get my egg set up. Now, you don't absolutely have to have one of these. Um, you can use your carton from your eggs, what it came in, or you can get one of these. So it's just a tray. That's more, you know, for company when you decide to share your devil food eggs, okay? So we're gonna take the inside out. Just gonna scoop it in here. It's not trying to come out very easy. Okay. I scoop the inside out, and that's what it pretty much looks like. And then I'm just going to set it over here in the tray, like that. And that way, when we get them all filled up and when we get our mixture made, we can put them in there. Okay? All right. So I'm just going to continue taking these egg yolks out and put them over here. <clears throat> I need some room so maybe you can see better. Oh, I think that's been, let's see how it's doing. Okay, it's pretty light. So I think you pretty much get the idea. So what we're going to do, Just take them out and switch them and turn them upside down into the other dye. And get our other color we need so we'll have a red, white, and blue. Okay? All right. So as you can see, I'm taking this one and I'm just gonna set it in the blue. Okay? And now while we're waiting for those to take, and get a little darker. We can start using our toothpicks to do our other eggs. So what you want to do is do it near the middle so we can get it colored on the 
is okay. So when we get those in, you want to do the other ones really close to it so that end can get some color. Okay. YouTube family and friends. Are we looking forward to the great giveaway? Yeah, the giveaway is coming up. It's coming up awful fast. Um, actually, right now I have 77 subscribers. So actually, all I need is 23 more and we get to do the giveaway. Let me tell you. Um, when you subscribe, to be sure that I get your name, you need to hit the notification bell to be sure that I'll get your name. So well, that way I can enter you in the drawing. Because I know I got a couple of subscribers and I'm missing some names. So if you do that to be sure, that'd be great. Okay? And that way you will be entered in the drawing and that's what I want you to be because I want you to win as much as you want to win, okay? So, just make sure you hit that notification bell so you get upcoming videos. Um, and that way I'll get your name also, okay? All right. So, we're going to need some more toothpicks. So, that's fine. I just have this... Uh, Little bottle here I picked up from fries. You can use colored toothpicks if you like. I, I don't think it really matters. <clears throat> These are just some little wood ones I have. And are we enjoying our uh, 4th of July so far? I'm enjoying mine. So I'm here with you guys doing a video. And I really enjoy doing videos for you guys. So, I really want you to be entered into the drawing. And I know it's going to come up really quick. After I receive 100 subscribers, I have my um, phone to notify me exactly when I get 100. And it'll be shut down. There'll be no more entries and that'll be a wrap. Okay? For that drawing. But that don't mean that I don't want you to continue... Uh, subscribing to my channel I do want you to subscribe and upcoming I will have other giveaways as well so this ain't just the only one I'm gonna do this is just the first one that I'm doing and I'm really excited about it that's all so make sure you tell your family and your friends so they'll have a chance at the big giveaway too and what I'll be giving away is a hundred dollar gift card from Walmart. Okay? So, good luck. All right. I also am enjoying my house now. I'm so happy to be moved and everything. And, whew, I know everybody hates moving, right? I know I do. So, <clears throat> hopefully, I won't be moving anytime soon. Because I hate moving. <laughs> but I thank God that He blessed me with this home. And I thank God that it's done. And I'm in it. And I'm enjoying it. And I love it. And I'm so comfortable. So comfortable. So. There we are. We have all our toothpicks done now. So now we're going to go back over here and see how they're doing. Oh, look at this one. 
it's really pretty. See that? Red, white, and blue. So we're just going to take out our toothpicks. <clears throat> and there you have it. There's our egg and there's our color and how beautiful it is. Happy Fourth to all of you out there. Let me tell you Happy Fourth. Speaking of Happy Fourth, I'm thirsty. So, just grab my drink right here. seems to be clean. I can use my little water for my eggs. That's how they used to wash their hands back in the moment. <laughs> they used to just stick their fingers in a little bowl of water like that and just wash their hands. So funny. Find myself doing it today. Alright, so we got that one done. And now we're going to put another one in. Moving right along. Now some of them, if the toothpick's not in there right, they won't want to let them get in there. So we have to make sure that it's in there right. Like straight across. So they can get some color on it. All right. This one's done. Looks pretty nice. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that deep red color. How nice is that? Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. So I'm just going to cut that in half. This one didn't quite get that color, but it's still red, white, and blue. So, we're going to go on and cut it. And now that we have these cut, the long width way, remember? Oh, wow. Look at that. If we turn them over, show you how beautiful they are. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that nice? Nice, huh? And like I said, if you leave it longer, you can get that rich, deep color that you want. Okay? But that's according to how long you want to leave it. So, all right, we're just going to scoop these in to our baggie. Put it over there. Mm -hmm. 
egg yolk. It is so good to me. Let me tell you. So, got those done. I'm just going to set them over here. All right. Now, let's go back over here and check on our color, how we're doing. All right. I wonder if we could get it a little darker, quicker if we add some more dye. What do you think? Well, I'm going to try it. So I'm going to add like three more drops. One, two, three. Then we're just going to stir that in. So gonna add three to the red. So basically all our dye got eight drops now of dye. Blue color. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy right now. I'm beside myself. I am, I am, I am. Damn, happy, happy 4th of July. Mmm. Let me tell you. Such a good 4th it is. Alright. So now we just need to put three more in this one and we'll be all done. So now that we're getting closer and we're getting the egg yolks in and everything, we can start putting our mixture together. Okay. Yeah, let me tell you, these two picks, you just have to make sure you get them right. Okay, sometimes it takes a little more time or you have to redo it, but that's okay, right? Because once we get it all together, it's going to be scrumptious and delicious and beautiful. Right? Right. Okay. So, got that. That's pretty blue. Stick this one over here and there. <clears throat> Just the color.
Okay. So now to start our mixture. <clears throat> Start our mixture. We're gonna need. <clears throat> and I have a clean spoon over here. This is a tablespoon, and we're gonna need six tablespoons of mayo, or you can use Miracle Whip if you like. I prefer mayo because it's not as sweet as Miracle Whip. Yeah, I don't know. I just. I'm old school and I just like that taste, probably because back in the day, I don't know if Miracle Whip was even around, but mayonnaise was real mayo, okay? So that's two. That's three. That's four. So now we have our mayo. We want to put a tablespoon and a half. Oh, it smells so good of the radish in. So we're going to take some horse radish and we're going to put a tablespoon and a half. tablespoon and a half of vinegar. Here we go, back to our distilled vinegar, right? Right. So that's one. And that's a half. All right. So that wraps that up. Getting right on down through there with everything. Right? Right. So, you kind of zip up your zip lock now. Kind of start mixing this together. Kind of just mix it like and smush it. Just don't do it too hard to break your little baggie. Kind of get it mixed up in there. and I'm just pushing them. It's kind of good. This is good therapy for your hands too. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you ever need some therapy for your hands, you might think about fixing some devil food eggs up and getting a workout. But that's strictly up to you if that's what you would like to do. All right. Okay, let's 
Let's check on our eggs. Oh, that one looks beautiful. Okay, I can get a little darker. Oh, yeah. So we're going to bring this one over here and oops, stick it in there. This one, put it in there, and this one in there. All right. Okay. So now back to our mixture. We're going to put a little accent salt, just a little sprinkle like that. We're gonna put a little sprinkle of seasoning salt, just like that. And we're gonna put a little bit of pepper, however much you want for yours to taste. I think we all can kind of determine how much we want with certain foods that we make for taste. And a little garlic powder, okay? All right. Now we have our seasonings, and I'm not quite going to put those away yet because I'm going to have to do a taste test before I start filling my eggs. So now I'm just going to go back to mixing. Mm -hmm. Don't really fill any more lumps. But that's a good thing. That means I'm doing a good job over here. That's what that means. Yes. Alrighty. So now, we don't want to forget our mustard. It gives it that kind of bitter, zesty taste, you know? Yeah, that's what we get from mustard. So, probably take about a teaspoon. So I just put like a half a tablespoon and that's a teaspoon. Okay. To mix in. Just going to get it mixed up here. Get that mustard mixed in. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I guess it's kind of marinating. Well, it's waiting for us other parts, right? Mm -hmm. 